Backyard Brains presents the End of Summertime Experiment, live on location. Extra potentials from plants, with help from... Dionea muscipula, or the Venus flytrap. Hey, Greg. Hey, Tim. How are you? Great. What are you up to? Just hanging out at the Bream Biological Laboratories. Such a great place to study and learn new things. We're out by the sea, by these beautiful plants. Yeah, we typically study invertebrates, but I've been thinking a lot about plants lately. Why? What, do you, what about plants? It's just, um, you know, you and I can fire action potentials, but I think some plants can as well. You're right. Venus flytraps, as if mimosas can. But when can we find some Venus flytraps to do an experiment? What'd you say, Lilo? There's some right here. A wild, potted Venus flytrap. Let's do it. Hey, Tim. He's coming back from the Lily Library? Yeah, I dug up some of the old journal articles. Um, Venus flytraps do fire X potentials, but they're really slow. On the order of two and a half seconds. Whoa, that is pretty slow. But you know what else is slow? EEGs and EKGs. They're not as slow as that, but they are, you know, maybe this circuit could be used for both. Is that the new circuit you've been working on? It is. You think it could work for the plants? Maybe we should try. Let's find out. And thus, we introduce the plant spiker shield bundle. Here's the circuit. Do you have anything? Do you have the plants? Yeah, we have the plants, and we have this manipulator. Are you going to put some stuff on? Yep. All right. All right. All right, you got the electrode in place? Well, I have the electrode on the side of the plant, but I don't really know what to do about this ground wire. Tim, it's ground. You can stick it in the ground. Ground the ground in the ground? Ground the ground. In the ground. Now that we're all set up, it's time to do some experiments. Inside the Venus flytrap, there are little trigger hairs that will fire a calcium axe potential when they're touched. And although they last much longer, the spikes are very similar to those of neurons. The plant axe potential begins the process of the leaf closing. In our first experiment, let's take a look at what happens when you touch a trigger hair. Whoa! Whoa! Greg, it seems like the system would be really sensitive to wind. How come the plants don't just close all the time? Yeah, because they have trigger hairs inside the leaves, so when it flies in it, it has to touch the hairs twice within 20 seconds, then it closes. So we could actually measure this, maybe. Maybe we could do an experiment. You'll notice that when you wait 30 seconds, you get two action potentials, but the plant doesn't close. But what if we only wait 10 seconds between the taps? You get two action potentials, and the trap closes. Backyard Brains would like to thank the Computational Neuroscience course at the MBL. The plant Spiker Shield bundle is available now. What will you discover? What will you discover? What will you discover? Backyard Brains, neuroscience, neuroscience for everyone. everyone.